All right, hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how to use the uh, right hand rule as a way to figure out the direction of a magnetic field when you have a wire that's conducting electricity. So let, here's a wire, and I'm just going to put this pen right here. And let's say this pen always points, the tip of it is always pointing to the direction that the current's flowing. So if, uh, let's say it's flowing from, from uh, right over here to left. Now, the right hand rule says that if you have your thumb in the direction of the current and you wrap your fingers around, then your fingers are now in the direction of the magnetic field. So you've noticed that I've drawn arrows on my fingers, and those arrows are going to tell us what direction the magnetic field is pointing in. All right? So if I, I just grab it like this and I point my thumb in the direction that the current's traveling, then you'll see, at least on top of the wire, the magnetic field would be going up. If you curl around a little bit on top of the wire, it'd be going down. And then um, on, on the bottom of the, behind the wire, it'd be going down this way, right? You can kind of see that from the arrows. So the magnetic field is going to wrap around a wire if the wire is carrying current, right? So one uh, question that you'll get uh, in this unit is whether the magnetic field is clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's just review what that means. Clockwise is when something's going in a circle in this direction. So just like if you imagine you're looking at a clock and you're watching the second hand move around, it's moving like this in this direction, right? To the right on top, to the left on the bottom. So that's clockwise. Uh, this would be counterclockwise is the opposite direction. Kind of like the time's traveling backwards if you're looking at a clock. It would be going to the left on the top and to the right on the bottom. So this is clockwise, counterclockwise. All right, so let's say that the uh, this wire is here, and let's say that the current on this wire is like coming out of the screen, right? Or if you're looking at a piece of paper, it's coming out of the paper. The way you figure out which direction the um, magnetic field is going is you would put your thumb pointed in the direction the current's flowing, Right, and then wrap your fingers around uh, around it, right? And so you see the arrows on my fingers are telling you which direction the current is flowing in. Right, and you see it's going in kind of a um, in a counterclockwise way. All right, so how would you draw this? You draw it like this. If something is coming out of the screen, because the screen is is 2D, so you can't really draw something coming out that that easily. Um, you'll make a small circle, right? The small circle means something is coming out of the page towards your eyes, All right? So when the electricity, the current is coming out like this, you'll see the magnetic field, which uh, you can see by the, the arrows on my finger, is going around in a counterclockwise way. So I'll draw that. All right. So if the opposite is true, if the what, let's say the current is going into the into the page, the uh, way that we draw something going into the page or the screen would be an X. So X is like it's going from out into it. So again, I'd have to use the right hand rule, and this time I'd have to have my thumb pointing down into the page. And when I do that. You'll see the um, arrows on my finger are curling in a clockwise way, right? So if, if here is the wire, and let's say the electricity is going down here into the page that way, then then the magnetic field would wrap around in a clockwise way, as, as seen by the arrows on my finger. So you draw that like this. Okay. And so this is always going to be the case if it's going like into, uh, if it's going out, coming out of, I'm sorry, coming out of the screen, coming out of the paper, whatever you're looking at, then the magnetic field is going to be counterclockwise. If it's going into, which is X means into, uh, then the magnetic field is going to be clockwise. So they could ask this question backwards. So let's look at that, what that would look like. Let's say uh, they say that there's a wire right here. I'll just draw a little picture of a wire. The wire would probably just go off the screen there. 
And it wants to know which direction the current is flowing, but it, it, it only tells you this. This is a typical question you might see. All right, and those X's and O's represent what represent the magnetic field, okay? And the question is, which direction is the current flowing? So the magnetic field you see is going into the page if it's on top of the wire and it's coming out if it's on the bottom. So I would take my right hand again, and remember my fingers represent the magnetic field. So the magnetic field needs to go in, so my fingers would point in. At the top, it would have to come out on the bottom, All right? So you'll, you'll see what I did. The, the magnetic, magnetic field represented by the arrows on my finger are going out on top, but they're coming, going, sorry, going in to the, the page on top, and they're coming out on the bottom. So all I have to do now is point my thumb, raise my thumb up like this, you see my thumb is now pointing in the direction of the electric current. So the electric current would be going this way, All right, to the left, All right? And so that's the right-hand rule, but we're kind of using it backwards. They give you the magnetic field, you see the current. 